Follow up from Monday, WWE taped today, although apparently not everything. SmackDown for next week is being delayed. The show yeah, for that, this Friday they're gonna already tape that, taped. They're going to tape that. Um, um, the, the show for this Friday was taped on Monday, so the show on the 26th, they're going to fly everyone back on the 26th, so the SmackDown people stayed uh, two extra days and ended up not being taped because they what happened was um they weren't going to start taping until they got all the test results back because they didn't want to put anyone in in case somebody failed so it led to starting much later than expected and they didn't have time for smackdown so that's what happened there and they so they taped um raw 205 live and main event and then um they were also taping the two NXT shows at, a, at I guess, at Full Sail. So they were two different locations. So NXT was pretty much live tonight, and um, which was pretty tricky. And it didn't really, you know, because you, you were it going. You had a live show with announcers in three different parts of the country, and they pretty much were. I mean, I didn't really notice any problems with it um, at all. I mean, the, the announcing was, you know, I mean, as far as like nobody stepped on each other or anything like that or, um, you know, just had problems being live or technical issues. And they do a real good job with that. I mean, as far as the technical stuff, I mean, you know that Mora Ronaldo and Beth Phoenix aren't there because they never show them. But when you listen to the commentary, you really wouldn't know it. Um, so it, it, they, that, that aspect of it's really good. So I guess the big question is, now that everyone has there's, been tested... There's a, lot of, there's a lot of questions. Well, there's a lot of them, but... All right, so everyone got tested. Great. Now what? Are they going to be taped for... Are they going to be tested again before every show? Are we going back to the I don't forehead know. checks? Is this just... I don't know. Hey, we'll do it one time until somebody fails again, or what's going on? No one knows? I don't know. No one's going to know until... Uh, let's see. When would, when would we know? Um... A week from Friday would be the next time because there's no tapings early in the week because they're already done. So June 26th will be the answers to that. Hmm. Um, I guess we could ask, but um, you know, I mean, usually well, actually, they don't, I guess we. I, well, I mean, usually we'll know they don't the answer say, when we find out they, when everyone gets flown in because if they get flown in on Friday, then clearly they're not testing everybody because they're not going to get the results back. They would have to be flying everybody in like Wednesday to get the results back on Thursday or at the latest early Thursday. Yeah, interesting. Um, you're right. They would have to fly everyone in um, early. They'd have to get in on early Thursday to be able to get people. Re yeah, yeah. So I guess that's that's the answer. Hmm. So, we've heard so, so Kevin Owens didn't do, is not on this week's, will not be on this coming Monday's Raw because he opted not to stay, even though he lives in the area, but not to come because, uh, you know, they do have that. You know, they were told that if you don't want to come, you don't have to come. And his it's his his wife's grandfather just passed away from COVID, like in the last couple of weeks. And so the family was just a little bit on the for the obvious reasons, very concerned about him working with somebody who had just tested positive in that building. So um, I'm I, my impression is that he will be when they come back, which would be the 29th, that he would be back. So it's, I think it's just going to miss one week of TV. But he, the stories that were going around that he missed TV is, are true. Hmm. Well, I guess the. I mean, there's nothing else really to talk about, so we get more. I mean, they've taped everything, so I, I we yeah. heard nothing I, about I, results I, or anything I, like that except Mojo. I, I, what happened to Mojo? No, he just tweeted that he passed or something like that. I'm sure everyone passed, or or most people passed. Yeah, they took they did the nose tests, not the throat tests, for whatever reason. You know, the throat tests, from what I understand, are the best, the most accurate of the tests. Um, it's the ones the UFC does. Um, the, the so whatever. Um, the what else did? Oh. Um, it was interesting that 
you know, they made some state that WWE's made some statements that they didn't really say anything in the statements, but um, they, I guess that that some of the fans denied about um, the idea that they were told not to wear masks. But man, I heard from so many different people that that, that you know that story that it was like you know if you want to wear a mask, don't come, and. I mean, if you just look in now, granted, I looked at AEW and there were people with masks, but there were not many. But with um, uh, with WWE, there was nobody. So evidently, um, it's strongly discouraged because it's weird because I watch New Japan and literally everyone's got it. Um, UFC, everyone but Dana uh, has it. But it's, it's, again, you know, that's the difference between... UFC, it, it has to do a lot with the regulations. I mean, when you're under regulations of an athletic commission, um, you know, they're going to be a lot more strict. Um, I think most of the commissions, most of the commission states with, that govern wrestling are going to be a lot stricter than Florida, which has no commission. I mean, and you're pretty much allowed to do whatever you want in Florida when it comes to this stuff, really. Because, um, I mean, there was a show uh last night in uh in port Ritchie, florida and somebody like it's supposed to be social distancing and somebody sent me a picture and it was man boy it was not social distancing people were all over each other um and you know they are you know at, at these shows too so um it's just different it's so weird you know watching japan where you know the the number of cases is minuscule compared to pretty much anywhere in the United States and certainly Florida and all these you know I mean they have you know everyone with masks everyone um, no no wrestlers at ringside and the announcers are, are like you know six feet away from each other and with glass with glass in between <laughs> and um, it's you know just different levels that's all I mean well you know I mean we, we I think through this whole thing we have seen um, just uh you know new japan definitely has has had a different mentality than than the companies in the united states about this